Hi folks, so in this video I'm going to go over the code that I use for creating Pong in Pygame. So I've launched the game now and you can see I've got the score counters at the top, a ball speed variable, and if I click it starts the game. So I control the paddle on the right hand side myself with the up and down arrow keys, and the paddle on the left is controlled by the AI. So it basically just follows the movement of the ball up and down and it knocks it back to me. And you can see up here I've got a ball speed counter and this gradually increases as the game goes on. So it's gone up to six there and it just adds a little bit of extra challenge to the game. So I'll close that down and I'll go straight into how to code it. So to start off, I want to import my modules, import Pygame and from Pygame locals, import start. So this is going to import everything that I need for this game. Next, I want to initialize Pygame, pygame.init. Uh, and now I can create my game window. So to do that, I want to define a couple of variables, which are going to be my screen width, which I will set to 600 pixels, and a screen height, which I will set to 500 pixels. So with these, I can now create my game window. I'll say my screen, which is the variable that I'm going to set the window to, screen equals pygame.display.set underscore mode. So this is an inbuilt pygame function for creating a, a display. Uh, into this, I just need to put in my screen width and screen height. Uh, and after this, I need to give the window a title. So again, I just call window.display, oh sorry, pygame.display, uh, and this time I call set underscore caption. And I'm just going to call this Pong. So when I launch the game, it's going to say Pong in the, at the top of the window. So with that initialization done, I can create my game loop. So this is where all the code is going to be executing. I'll start this with an initial run variable, which I'll set to true. And then the game loop is going to be while run is true. So I just say while run, which means that as long as the run variable is set to true, this is going to continue running the code that's within there. So I want to be able to have a way of actually exiting the game. And that's where event handlers come in. So I'm going to iterate through each event in Pygame's event handler, and I'll use a for loop for this. For event in pygame.event.get. So this is going to get every event from Pygame. And I'm looking for particular types of event. So if event type is pygame.quit, which is when you click the X button in the, uh, in the game window, I just set run to false. So that all on its own is going to be enough to kick the game out of this loop. And then I can execute the final line of code, which is going to be pygame.quit. So that there is pretty much the base of the game. Uh, I'll just run this now just to check everything is okay. And you can see I've got the game window generated. It's just a blank screen. I haven't drawn anything on it yet. And I've got a title up here of Pong. So the next thing I want to do is actually set a background color. At the moment, it's just a black screen. So I'm going to do that by first of all defining a color for this. So I'll set a section here for define colors. And the color is going to be set to BG, which is my background. So I'm going to save the color into this variable. Uh, these colors are all just RGB, red, green, blue values. So this is one that I selected when I was making the game. So with the background color selected, I'm just going to create a function for setting up my game board. I'm going to say define, and it's going to be called draw board. It doesn't have to take any arguments, and all it does is fill the screen with the background color. So screen is, if you remember from up here, the name of my game window. So screen dot fill color PG. So that's just going to fill the background with that color. Now I need to actually call this function within my game code. So I'll come down here and I'll just say draw board. And lastly, although this asks Pygame to, uh, to fill the background, it won't actually update anything. For this, you need to have another function. And this one is pygame.display.update. So any change that I make through the code is going to be printed or shown on the screen using this function at the end. So I'm going to run this again just to check. And that's looking a lot better. So now I've got my background set up. So essentially I've got my game board. 
So what I want to do next is add a small margin to the top of the screen. If I run this game again, uh, you can see essentially it takes up the whole screen, but I want to have essentially an area at the top above this line here that's going to have my score and it's going to act as a wall. So that up here is going to be my margin. And to create that, I'm going to come up here and I'll have a section where I define my game variables. So define game variables. And the first one is going to be margin. So I'm going to give this a height of 50 pixels. And to draw this margin onto the screen, I'm going to need a new color. This color is just going to be white, uh, but these colors aren't predefined within Pygame. So I define this myself as 255, 255, and 255. And I'm going to come into this draw board function because this essentially is going to be part of the game board. All I'm going to do is just draw a horizontal line across the top of the game board, which is going to be a height of the margin. To draw a line or to draw any shape within Pygame, you have to call pygame.draw. So whatever shape you put in, you put after this. So in my case, it's just a line. Uh, the first argument it's going to take is the window that it's going onto. So my window is already defined as screen. So draw it onto the screen. Then I need to define a color, which is going to be white. And then I need to feed it a tuple, which is going to be the start position. So this is an X and a Y coordinate for where the line starts. The X is going to be zero because it's going to start on the very left hand side of the screen. And the Y, considering that zero is the very top of the screen, the Y is going to be the height of 50 pixels, which is my margin. So I type margin in here. And now I need to define the end position. So as I said, the line is going to go across the screen. So it starts at an X value of zero and it's going to end an X value of screen width because it goes all the way across. So X for a line end position is screen width. And the Y position is still the same because the line is horizontal. It doesn't move up or down as it goes across the screen. So let's just check if that updates now. And now you can see I've got this line drawn across the screen and that's going to be my separator between the game area and the scores. So the next thing then is to actually draw these scores. Uh, I'm going to start off again. I have to define these variables before I begin. So I'm going to define a variable for my CPU score, and that's going to start off at zero, and player score, which is also going to start off at zero. So with these defined, I can now show them on the screen. But Pygame doesn't have a direct print function, so you can't directly put text onto the screen. Instead, you have to take the text, convert it in an image, and then show that image on the screen. So it's a few lines of code, and repeating that every time within the main loop for every line of text that I want to add, it can get a bit repetitive. So instead, I'm going to define another function. And this function is just going to be what I'm going to use anytime I want to put text onto the screen. So this is going to be define draw text. And this will need to take some arguments. So for a start, I need to tell it what text I actually want to put on the screen. Then I want to tell it what font to use for that text. Then I'm going to say what color, text color. And then lastly, I need to give it an X and a Y coordinate for where I actually want this text to be displayed. So the first thing that you do with text is you convert it to an image. So this is going to be done with image equals, and I'm going to use the font.render function. So to backtrack a little bit, as I said, Pygame will take the text, it will then convert it into an image and use a font value to convert from the text into the image. So before I even try and do that conversion, I need to define what font I'm going to be using. So I'll come back up here and I'll define font. And I'm going to use uh, Constantia. So I'll say my font, so font variable equals, and this is the function within Pygame for defining a font pygame.font.sysfont and I name the font that I want to use so you can change this to anything you like I've gone with cons... have I spelled that right? no Constantia and then I need to give it a size so 30 now that the font is defined I can come back down into my image and use the render function so font dot render 
I'll take that text that's being fed in through the function and I'll take the color that's being fed in through the function. So this line of code is going to turn that text into an image. So the next thing to do then is to tell Pygame to take that image and to actually show it on the game window. And use that uh, to do that, you use the blit function. So again, I call my game window, which is screen. I say screen dot blit. So anytime you want to put an image onto the screen or onto your game window, you will call the name of your screen and then call the blit function. So what do I want to display? I want to display the image and where? Well, I've got my X and Y coordinates defined up here. So that's my draw text function. Uh, that's going to take all the variables that I need or all the arguments I need and it's going to display that text onto the screen. So I can come down into my game loop and I can actually call this text out now. So I'll come under this draw board. It all needs to be done in order. So first I want to draw the board which is going to fill the background and then I want to add text over it. If I did it in the opposite order then I wouldn't see any text because the board would cover up all the text that was drawn before it. So I'll say draw text and first I'm going to put the CPU on the, score, uh, on the screen. So I'll say CPU and a space plus the string of the CPU score. So at the moment that's zero but as the game goes on, that variable is going to increase anytime the CPU scores. And the next variable or next argument was the font. Now I've already defined this up here as my font variable. So I'm going to put in font. The color I want to use is white. And then the X and the Y coordinates are 20 and 15. And now I can copy this down and do the same for the player. So I'm going to call this P1 instead. Uh, the string now is going to be player score. Still the same font, still the same color, but now I want to go from the right hand side of the screen. So I'll take my screen width variable and then I'll simply step back by 100 pixels. So now let's run this and see how that's looking. There we go. So I've got my game board now set up and I've got the two score counters above it. So I've got a clear kind of demarcation between where the game area is and where the margin with the scores and everything is going to go. So that's going to be everything for this first video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and to stay up to date with the next uh, tutorial. And thank you for watching.